Good evening, Joe Smith here. Here's a topic that's been up for debate for some time now, several years. Uh, a lot of people have talked about it on their TV shows or radio shows or talk shows, and, and it's been in the news a lot too. And uh, California just signed a new bill allowing uh, college athletes to accept or go after uh, paid sponsorships or paid endorsement deals. A lot of people, a lot of college athletes, or a lot of people think college athletes should get paid to play sports or should at least be allowed to get endorsement deals. There's been video games made in the past where the video game maker made a ton of money, but none of the <coughs> college athletes featured were allowed to accept any uh, revenue or royalties from the video game. Um, <coughs> Joe Smith here, kind of, Joe Smith kind of sees things uh, from both points or that. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, video games should be allowed to Use your image and likeness and uh, or jersey number or anything, uh, um, anything about you to make money without compensating you. So, yeah, Joe Smith kind of agrees on that point there that either video games based on uh, college teams should be not allowed or banned, or else uh, college players should get a royalty for those games uh, sold, one or the other. Uh, same thing, uh, you're not allowed to <coughs> um, sell jerseys or that. Like there's a college uh, jersey sellers, but they can't have both the name and the number on there. Uh, you can get like a, maybe a jersey of your favorite college team, and you can order whatever number you want on it, but you can't have a name put on it that's of a uh, college athlete. You can like have your own name put on it when you order it. Uh, but you can't have college athletes put on it because that violates NCAA rules. <clears throat> but some say that, well, maybe they should allow the companies who sell those jerseys as long as they pay the college players a royalty for it. But the NCAA doesn't think that the college athletes should be getting any form of compensation for playing including uh, jersey sales, video game sales, anything like that. Some people wanted to go so far as to say that, well, the colleges should be paying the players a wage or a salary or something for the games that they actually play. Now, Joe Smith thinks that's taking things too far, right? This is like if you're going to do that, then next high school players are going to want to get paid, and then junior high players are going to want to get paid, and then fifth grade flag football players are going to want to get paid. It's like where's it going to end? Soon people are soon everyone's going to just quit going to school, thinking that they should get paid to go to school. Nobody's going to go to college because they think, well, the college should pay them to go there and go to their classes. Nobody's going to go to elementary school because they think, well, we should get paid to go there and sit there all day long. That's our job. <coughs> so, Joseph Smith thinks this could easily lead to a very slippery downhill slope that's going to destroy the American education system and cause even elementary kids who refuse to go to school unless they get paid to 
go to class every day. But at the same time, Joe Smith don't think companies should be profiting off uh, college or other student athletes' uh, performances, names, likeness, etc., without compensating them. So, Joe Smith's honest opinion no to getting paid to play. In school, college, high school, below. No to gain a wage or salary just to play. Don't have to be on the team if you don't want to be. If you'd rather spend that time working at a job that does pay you, then go work a job that does pay you. But high school, college, or junior high, other... School sports is supposed to be fun. Supposed to be for the love of the game. Joe Smith even thinks that pros get paid way too much. And that's why Joe Smith don't watch pro sports. He just watches college because it's for the love of the game. It's not for money. But at the same time, Joe Smith thinks that, yeah, if video game companies going to make millions of dollars off NCAA college football 2019, or, then, yeah, the, the players' feature should get, like, a share of royalty or something. And the NCAA and colleges should allow it. And, and if the... the the top athletes want to engage in other endorsement deals who make some money on the side, then it, it should probably be allowed. Joe Smith don't really see anything wrong with it. That, um, maybe, um, I mean, if other players are jealous that, oh, this, this star player is getting all these endorsement deals and we're not, well, practice more. Get to be as good as he is. Maybe, maybe he invested a lot more time practicing growing up and while well, you were playing video games or something. And now he, now he's getting rewarded for his investment. That's how Joe Smith sees it. like, Maybe it'll just get other people to practice more and, and put forth even more effort so they can get endorsement deals too. And then maybe you'll see even even better competitions uh, when you watch uh, college sports. But yeah, it does sound kind of fair knowing that a lot of these college football or basketball coaches are getting paid a million dollars a year to be a coach and then playing because the sports generates all sorts of revenue for the college. And at the same time, these college athletes are getting something out of it. They're getting a free education. They're saving 30 or 50 grand a year and tuition and expenses at college there. Maybe even getting free room and board. So they are they are being compensated somehow or other and and at thirty to fifty grand a year quite decently just for playing football for half the year or basketball for half the year. What do you guys think? What's your take? Is the free room and board and free tuition enough compensation for college athletes? Um, should they be allowed to engage in endorsement deals or, or should companies be banned from any 
making money on any kind of college sports like video games or jersey sales or should college coaches be paid as much as they do or or should there be on top of their free tuition and free room and board should they get like an hourly wage or something or salary uh, to practice and play on top when Joe Smith was in school, he, he did the flake football and and uh, basketball and volleyball, water polo. And the couple years of college he went to, but Joe Smith would had to pay for classes, or he you know, Joe Smith got some uh, federal Pell grants that helped with a lot of it. But Joe Smith go to classes, go home. Uh, do a paper out or mow a couple yards, and then after work would go back to the school to play a flag football or basketball, or water polo or volleyball or whatever it was that night if there if it was a sports night. And Joel Smith just kind of done for fun because he wanted to play. Didn't care about making all my unit having plans of going to the pros or anything like that. It was just it wasn't even like on the official uh, college team. It was just uh, intramural sports that the college had for fun or that and, and that was the best fun Joe Smith ever had in school. But Joe Smith worries that if you turn that into a paying job for people that's going for kids, it's going to take the fun out of it. It's going to coaches are going to get too serious or whatever, or players are going to get too serious about it, and it's going to just become all about the money and not about the fun. So, California's new bill going in the right direction, or are they? Or they open up Pandora's box here. What's your guys' take on all this? Joe Smith sign out.